So today, here on Tech Gooch, we're taking a peek at this. This is a CCS adapter for my Tesla Model 3, or actually any Tesla product for that matter. Uh, Hanshow, uh, I got this from Hanshow on Amazon. In all reality, what it comes down to is I had my very first long distance trip I took back in March of last year, the first trip I ever took with my Tesla, really. I was in a rural part of Iowa that didn't have any superchargers. Um, and there was some CCS chargers that I found. Uh, and I found since then other rural locations that has CCS but no Tesla. And so I thought I really do want to have one of these in my trunk. So let's take this uh, and actually go plug it into uh, my Tesla and, uh, and add a local CCS charger that I found. So first let's open the box. Let's see what it looks like. Then you're going to come with me in my car. Quick and easy, obviously, you see here that we have that. We know that's what the supposed to look like here. Uh, I've already popped off the tape, I guess. It wasn't really sticking to it so much. Um, but essentially, let's just not beat around the bush. We just have a massive CCS 1 to Tesla adapter. And so um, there's some stuff like this uh, locking mechanism and things like that, that that obviously lock the plug onto the the CCS plug on. So it's, I think what it is is once you push this into your vehicle, basically it's going to push that, which is going to lock this in place so it can't come off. And of course the car locks this. So the theory is the system is locked when you actually are charging and have it locked. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this works, seeing how well it works. It's nice and cold since it was outside. Um, and of course my car is going to be really cold because uh, it's been outside pretty much all day. But let's go charge. Okay, so I'm actually at a EV charger. That's a CCS charger. But I have here my Tesla Model 3. Now, the thing that I did get is this fancy adapter right down in here. So this is from Hanshow. That's a CCS one to Tesla adapter. And I'm gonna give it a try right now. So I'm gonna put it, oh, clicked. I'm gonna put it on this first. I'm gonna try it this way. EV connected, preparing. You have that going, starting to charge. I'm waiting for charging. Isolation test. Starting to charge over there yet. I hear things clicking. Charging. We are charging. So, again, hand show CCS1 to TPC or to Tesla, right? It's just handy to have because I've actually ran into one situation where I couldn't find a charger. So, there we go. So, in the end, it worked fine. Now, the thing that I obviously that you saw in the video is with that specific... Uh, plug and when I looked through plug share of other people that had the same not even with that were not charging with the Tesla they were just charging with their Ford they had to hold it up until it started charging uh, essentially when it was doing its testing before it actually would send power through the circuit they had to hold it up but once it started powering they could let go exact same issue with this and I kind of wanted to just start with I just plug it in and go through the standard steps but in the end it did exactly what it was supposed to do. It allowed me to charge from that. Now, um, that charger also is listed, um, well, at least the reviews of it, very slow. So, uh, obviously, I tested it in comparison to a supercharger. It's not nearly as fast as a supercharger. Uh, I wouldn't have expected it anyway, but um, I just wanted to, at least in my battery condition, my charge state, there's the difference that would be blindly, at least. And in all reality, there are other brands that sell these adapters. Um, I would only purchase a few of them personally because I've had experience. So they ha I have a few brands out there that I do buy accessories from. I do enjoy the accessories that I've had already from. And this is going to be one of them. So um, I think this is like 180 bucks on Amazon right now. And now that could fluctuate. You never know what's going on. But I will put a link at the top of the description. So... Uh, hand show, you make a good adapter. In all reality, it feels well built. So I have nothing but good things to say about it. It's it's not light. It's got some heft to it. So, you know, they claim, you know, it should be um, 
oh, under voltage protection, over voltage protection, leakage protection, a whole bunch of stuff that they claim on here. You know, there's no instruction booklet, but it's pretty much plug it in, right? But with CCS, it's, it's a much touchier uh, connection point. I found, uh, not just for me, but for other people, than the, the, the standard Tesla adapter. So that's that. And uh, check it out at the link. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and we'll catch you back here on TechEach for another video review. Pretty cool. See you soon.